Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair. Unlike Windows Server operating systems, there's a pretty much a shutdown button that is pretty much shown on Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 on the logon screen, which lets you shut down the system without ever having to log in. Well, sometimes you might want to have it shared to public people, computers, and stuff, and you want to prevent others from shutting down or restarting that computer. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this in two different methods to remove that shutdown button on the login screen in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so there's two different options. One's pretty much going to be through group policy. This pretty much applies for Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, or Education Edition. It may not apply if it's valid if you have a pretty much a basic Windows 10 home. But regardless, I'll show you this first option because it's very quick and easy. So we're going to just go ahead and go to start or the search bar. You pretty much get to that point. And we're just going to go ahead and type in GP edit. And it will pretty much bring up that selection. And here we are. It's expanded. And I'm going to expand this out here so you can actually can see it. What we're going to do is go to computer configurations. That's this one right here. Then we're going to go to windows settings. Then to we're pretty much going to need to go to security settings right here. From there, we're going to go to local policies. Then select security options. And there's a very big selection like this. So be sure that this is actually in order. This sometimes gets off. And what you're going to look for is shutdown. Allow the system to be shut down without having to log on. And you see by default, it is enabled. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And we're going to disable that policy and press OK. Now I'm going to try and see if we can just lock this system and it has that option. If not, we might need to sign out. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go to start, go to the user and press lock. And look at that. It does not have it. It's it's not there. Pretty much I can't shut it down through here because it has been removed. So if you want to bring that back up, we're pretty much the same by going to start or I'm going to search bar. I'm going to go ahead and type in GP edit. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Expand this again. And again, this same policies can also work on Windows 7, Windows 8. You might need to type in gpedit.msc and open up also the run command. So pretty much win key and R. And I'll bring up this. That pretty much does the same steps. But again, you can get to the group policy editor too on Windows 10 by just typing that. From that point, we're pretty much going to go again to computer configurations, which we're going to select, then Windows settings, then security settings then local policies, then security options. And we're going to scroll down again until we saw that shutdown allow system to be shut down without having a login. We're going to go ahead and click select it and select enabled. And that means that it should be back. So let's test this again. I'm going to go ahead and lock this and see what it looks like. And there it is, has the power button back again. So that was a very quick and easy option. Now, if you don't have that option to do it that way, then we're going to go to the second step method for it. And we're pretty much going to just doing it through the registry trick. So to this, we're going to go ahead and go to start. And you can go ahead and just search bar two and go ahead and type in reg edit. And it'll pretty much have this option. You see it says related to reg edit.msc. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Now, mine's probably already expanded because I've probably made some videos before from the past, but this is what you're pretty much going to look like when you see it like this. Now, again, if you were on Windows 7 or Windows 8, then you can pretty much go ahead and go to start. You can go to search bar and type in run, and it'll bring up the pretty much the app for the run app. Or again, you can just type in the Windows key and R, and it'll bring it up, and you can type in rake edit and press OK, and it'll pretty much do the same thing for you. It's just another option that you can do this in case you have an outdated operating system instead of Windows 10. So here we are again, and we're going to go to local machines, and we're going to go to software, and then from that section we're going to choose Microsoft. Then we're going to scroll down until you see Windows, and there's a big list of the selections here. Be sure you choose Windows, not Windows NT. That happens sometimes. We get that issue pretty often. We're going to expand that, and we're going to choose, after that, current version and expand it again. As you understand, there's a lot more steps here. We're then going to choose two policies that I just saw right here, policies, and we're then going to go to system. And then from there, we should have a file called shutdown without login. 
and you see it has a one so it is technically enabled for it now if you don't have this file actually will go ahead and I'm gonna rename this to copy it if you did not have this file you can press delete for this see if you didn't have it you can just go to right click on it and select a new D word and you'll type in the text that says shut down without login and again that value was set to 1 by default for it to be there and we're gonna go ahead and just change this to 0 so now if we X this out and if I type in the win key in L well pretty much win key I actually was gonna type in win key and L to lock it but I'm doing a virtual computer I actually lock out both we'll just go to the user and press lock we're gonna see if it is there and it is actually gone so that's pretty much it now to bring it back again because I have people that get confused on this so here you're going up the registry editor go to your same locations from local machine software Microsoft Windows current versions policies then system and you'll see that shutdown without login change that value back to one that pretty much enables it exit out I'm gonna go ahead and just lock this again just to show you and here is that shutdown button back where it was before and that's pretty much it thanks for watching from Helton's computer repair if you want to help us out we have some t-shirts right there we also have our membership if you want to join us here on our YouTube channel we pretty much have um, tutorials and troubleshootings and issues like that monthly and it'll be exclusive for the memberships on there and also I'm currently in a demo that's pretty much here on YouTube so if you want to do a pol uh, what's it called if I'm correctly it is a, a applaud option pretty much you want to show your support by applauding you can go ahead and donate a two dollars it is there on that ability too but that is pretty much it thank you for watching from Helton's computer repair and I will see you on the next video thanks for watching guys if you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button get subscribed comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest I will see you on the next video